So check this out, you guys. I thought this was so cool, especially for this area with all the Japanimation style. We got Transformers, that was uh, Dragon Ball Z, with that big dragon. And then we've got, oh, looks like some more, oh, Bumblebee. And also some more, I believe those are Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter, I was gonna say Mortal Kombat. But I believe all these guys are from Street Fighter. How incredibly awesome is that? And literally wraps around the whole wall here. Pretty sweet. Got all the characters. <laughs> Many hours invested in Street Fighter. Not only at the arcade, but at home. But let's keep creeping, because what I wanted to show you guys is just right up the street here. This little area right here, the Fubon was once the Portland Community College, but over the years has developed into a giant marketplace for Oriental folks, Vietnamese people and whatnot, right here in the Jade District in Portland, right off the 82nd. But we're gonna creep up here a ways and check it out, the old Canton Grill. So sitting right here is the Canton Grill. Like I said, with over 75 years here in Portland, this place has been here for many years, many a great memories. And it actually was the either third or fifth generation of family owners. And OPB just recently did a little podcast with the owners, the third generation owners on there. And I'm gonna leave the link down in the comment section, but we're gonna creep over here because there's a sign in the front and then there's this sign here too. And then we're gonna creep around back here because it looks like it's fenced off, but I can get in on this side right over here. With the signage seeing better days, still has the little Buddha guy on the sign there though, which I will tell you a little bit more about here in a minute. Looks like this side's seen a little bit of better days too. Kind of harder to see with the the light coming but this was the back side here for many years like i said was a heart and staple for many of folks to come enjoy their incredibly americanized chinese food here's another little glimpse of their sign I'm gonna see if I can try and get around the back here and get a better view of the sign here. Here's the building itself with this iconic little piece here, almost like a pagoda. And then if you walk down here for many years, like I said, this place sat right here off of 82nd. And I really like these dragons. It's gonna be sad to see this place go completely. I don't know if they're gonna actually tear it down or if they're gonna actually keep it, but look at these little old school lanterns. Even have like a really cool design about them. That's when they actually made things kind of more intricate. And then they've got this little area here where you could probably stand here and take a selfie. Pretty cool. And then of course they got their their Buddha here, which I want to tell you guys more about in a second, along with some big old fortune cookies here. And I'm not quite sure what that says. So this can, uh, Canton Grill here, they've got this mural here depicting this big Buddha. And for many years, right inside the lobby's doors was a giant one of these Buddhas, a big gold statue of one that would sit in the lobby. And you could rub its belly for good luck. It was encouraged. People left little tokens and trinkets throughout the years. But right here, this building, definitely iconic piece of Portland. You can even see like the old school neon 
for the open sign, but check this out. They've even left a link. It says follow at Living's Things Union. And I believe that's a Instagram post, Instagram page. Let's keep creeping because like I said, this building's got a lot of cool, intricate work, like these pillars that have been here along with this brick for over 75 years, pretty cool. Not to mention these little protruding little places outside here and then at night these would all light up too. If you can see there is these lights all around here so this whole, this whole little area would be lit up for guests. And here is their actual main sign kind of hard to see with the glare let me get a little bit closer but if you can see they're up top canton grill and a lot of the restaurants up and down 82nd had to kind of stay on board with the neon and and signage throughout the years just because there were so many good signs and whatnot a lot of places were using a lot more neon and such but this market went in right here and if you can see it basically blocked the entire building like the building used to just sit right through here and this building when it was built basically blocked their sign you can't really see the grill or the cocktails part anymore you basically can just see where it says up top there but maybe that was also another reason why they didn't do too good over the years when the other developments of 82nd happened and a lot more options came about. But I love the little like pagoda style little awning there on the sign, pretty cool. But let's creep around the other side here because there's a little bit more to look at. I want you guys to check out this old neon too. So let's go see if we can make our way around back. I know this fence long, uh, runs along here but I saw a little break in it, so. All right, looks like if I am careful here, I can actually go right through the back lot here. And if you can see, at one point, could host a lot of people and was known to do a lot of karaoke. That was kind of after the last maybe 10 years before they closed, that was kind of their little claim to fame. Other than their awesome food, this place had some of the best egg foo young in town. Like I said, definitely Americanized cuisine. And after, se oh, 76 years, pardon me, they decided to basically stop. Not operational, which is really sucky because I love this place. It really stinks. And like I said, this place paved the way for a lot more Vietnamese people and other ethnicities throughout Portland to feel comfortable and not only that, but starting their own business. But if you see, thank you for the memories and 76 magical years. And I'm not sure if there's gonna actually uh, tear down the building, if it's gonna become something else. Um, who knows? But before that happened, I wanted to take you guys here and just show you this basically iconic piece of Portland, the Canton Grill. Many, many, many times here coming through with the family and friends. Heck, I'd even stop in once in a while coming from work. Pretty sad to see it go, but there's one last thing I wanted to show you and I saved the best for last and it's just right out front here. So stay tuned, we're gonna creep out front here and check out one of their really cool old school neon signs. Another fallen Portland relic not too long ago we just crept down to a couple other places here in Portland that were really big in the 80s and 90s all the way up until just a couple years ago sad to see places go but I guess change is good so I don't really fret on it too much and who knows maybe another business will open up here 
But I have to say, out of all the American Chinese places in Portland, the Canton Grill was definitely the place to be. Really fun times, great food. And their menu stayed the same for most of the 76 years that they were here. So thank you, Canton Grill, once again. And I saved the best for last. This right here is their original sign here, customer parking in the back like we just were there. And if you can see up top, the really cool little neon, like I said, Portland was really big on the different neon signage. Back the camera up a bit. And I have some pictures that I was able to fish out online of the actual neon lit up around the little guy there at night. Like I said, pointing the way to the back there, you can see, you can just barely see the top of the little Canton Grill here because of the market. But you would have turned right down this little driveway here, right into the back where we just were. But this has been here for, shoot, as long as I can remember. Just another little piece of Portland, lost Portland history. I think this is a little bit better of an angle. It is blazing hot today. After all the smoke and stuff, I'm glad to see everything clearing up. But like I said, here's a better shot from the opposite side, right here off of 82nd and Division. This is Division and then 82nd runs just parallel to Division. But like I said, this sign has been here for at least 70 years. Pretty cool. Definitely gonna miss seeing you up there, bud. Be nice to see if somebody actually could maybe salvage you or refurbish you, or maybe even keep the sign and just change the name, who knows. But I'll put those pictures of what it looks like lit up at night, you guys, it's pretty cool. As you can see, the sign basically stood pretty tall as you would be going down 82nd here. So a lot of people could see where it was, but like I said, with that market going in, it really obstructed the building itself. But here it is from the opposite side of 82nd, where we just were, was inside that little painting there by the Buddha. <laughs> yep, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here. And I've also fished up some old timey shots that I will put in either the description or the comment section as well, so. And here's from the opposite side where you can kind of see, like I was saying, the ends of the building kind of go up on each side and they have like this little lip here on the top, but you can't really see it because of the tree. But if I zoom in up top here, you can see that little like pagoda style thing on the roof and the whole building was meant to be shaped like that pagoda, or a pagoda style, with the lips of the building kind of going up on each end. That works on all four corners, and then the little piece up top there. So, pretty cool. So thank you, Canton Grill, once again. And thanks you guys for tuning in. I love you guys very much. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, that way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And until next time, I love you guys very much. Creeper out for now.